Hi everyone. Well, it's January. January is a new year. It means a new start, a new outlook, a new resolve. What are some of the New Year's resolutions that people usually make? I have been on the couch too much. I have been eating yummy pies and delicious chocolates. My New Year resolution is to be more active, become more healthy and strong and fit, and eat more healthy foods. I really should learn how to play another instrument. I mean, I have no excuse. I, there are so many here. Many of my musician friends play several instruments. I would be a much more well-rounded musician and more cultured if I played more instruments. Let's see. Wait, is that even how that goes? Does it go this way? No, not, not bad, not bad. How about where's this one? Look at this place. What a mess. I am very unorganized. My New Year resolution is going to be to organize this attic so that there's a better sense of order and things are more accessible and more easy to find. I mean, what? I don't know enough about diverse and complex and intellectual subjects. My New Year resolution is to memorize the periodic table or maybe memorize the presidents in order. Mm -hmm. Or balance some really difficult equations. What might be some deeper resolutions? What might Jesus encourage us to resolve to do? All those I mentioned are great ones, but Jesus would like us to go a bit deeper. What about spending time in nature? We could cultivate our respect for Mother Earth and resolve to do better to take care of her and marvel in God's creation. How are you? I know, I know. Hang on a second. How about listening to a friend? People are really struggling out there and feeling isolated. So take the time to connect and really listen. Okay, I'm back. We shouldn't meet together indoors, but we can bundle up and safely meet outside, socially distanced. Laughing with our neighbors is great for endorphins and keeping our relationships in our community strong. Hi, neighbor. Hi. How about taking the time to read God's word? A friend suggested in December that for every day of December leading up to Christmas to read a chapter of Luke because there are 24. So I really enjoyed doing that. It can help deepen your understanding and deepen your faith as well. And lastly, talk to God. Quiet down, give up your worries and concerns to God, listen, and let God hold you up. Last week, Dietmar mentioned a song called The Face of God that my family learned, gosh, 25 years ago and brought back to our church family uh, to teach them and to enjoy together. So it's been a long time, many years since we've done it, and in these divided times, I thought, what a great time to bring it back. Um, so many of you don't know it since it's been many years, so the words and motions that go together are, you are the face of God, I hold you in my heart, you are a part of me, with linked fingers, you are the face of God. Okay, so it goes like this. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. Try it with me. You are the face of God, I hold you in my heart, you are a part of me, you are the face of God. One more time. You are the face of 
of God, I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. Resolve to let God hold you. Resolve to see the face of God in others and resolve to hold others up. Let's say a prayer. God, we resolve to see your image in all those I meet and deal with this day and to be as helpful to them as I would be to you. Amen.